everyone welcome back to my channel a lot of you have requested a knitted messy bun ponytail hat pattern for me so i have one upped that i am doing actually a four in one pattern it is a messy bun hat a beanie a slouch hat or a cowl what <laughs> the finished version looks like. If you want to wear it as a cowl, it will look like this. To wear it as a hat, you cinch up the cord either all the way or leaving a little opening if you want to poke your ponytail through. And then you can wear it as a slouch or fold the brim up and wear it as a beanie. And if you want to make this for a little youngster, you can just cast on fewer stitches and it will make a smaller hat. Grab some size US 13 needles. They're also called nine millimeter. These are 24 inches from tip to tip, which will work. 16 inches from tip to tip would work even better. You just want some type of needle to knit in the round. You're going to need four ounces of worsted weight yarn. You are actually going to hold the yarn double throughout the whole project to make essentially a thicker yarn. So you can do like I did and create a center pull ball of yarn and pull one strand from the inside and one from the outside and hold those together or you can make two separate balls to learn how to make a center pull ball i have a video for you you can check in my channel for that how to wind a center pull ball with your hands or how to use a swift and ball winder the first thing you're going to do to get started is cast on 60 stitches using the long tail cast on method if you don't know how to cast on and you're brand new to knitting, check out my How to Knit for Beginners and I break it down in detail, zoomed up close so that you can know what you're doing. Hold your yarn double, just pretend it's one thicker yarn and start with a slip knot. So we're gonna need 60 stitches. So pull up 60 inches, one, two. I just measure from my nose to my hand stretched out twice and make a slip knot. Now we're going to join for working in the round and it's very important that you don't twist your stitches. In order to make a cylinder, which is essentially what we are forming, it is very important, it is crucial that your stitches are all lined up like so rather than twisted around like this. It's super easy for your stitches to get twisted and you won't end up with a cylinder. You'll have a really weird twisty thing and it won't work. So very, very, very important that your first round is started with all of your stitches lined up like this and not twisted around your needle. Squish all your stitches up onto your needle. We're going to be working into the side that does not have the end and the tail I mean the end and the working yarn attached. So this is where we'll be inserting our needle. So these stitches need to be up towards the tip and ready to work. Round one is super simple. It's the basis of our ribbing pattern for the whole thing. So knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two purl two, all the way around. Knit one, knit two. Remember to bring your yarn in front. Purl one, purl two, yarn in back. Repeat that all the way around. Knit one, knit two, purl one, purl two. And just keep scooching your stitches around. And don't worry if you get a gap between the first stitch knitted and the start of the the end of the other round because that'll tighten up later. Knit two, purl one, 
curl two, knit two, purl two. And this first round is always a little bit tighter. It'll get easier and looser to knit as you go along. So don't worry about that. Knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, Round one is done. Round one is done. Another thing to keep in mind, if you want to, you can put a stitch marker at the end of your round to make sure you always know when you come back around. Or I just check where the tail is at. It's pretty easy on this pattern to see. So, up to you. Now we're gonna do round number two. This is the round that creates the little holes that go around one of the edges that the cord runs through so you can cinch it up to make it a hat. It's really simple. It's knit two yarn over, that's what makes the hole, purl two together. Repeat that all the way around. I'll show you. Knit one, knit two, yarn over to make your hole, pull the yarn in front, and purl two together. And then yarn in back. Again, knit one, knit two, yarn over, Yarn in front, purl two together. And repeat that all the way around. Knit, knit, yarn over, purl two together. Knit, knit, yarn over, yarn in front, Purl two together. Round two is complete and you should have something that looks like this. So from here on out, it's super simple. You're gonna repeat round one. That's it, over and over. Knit two, purl two, 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 knit two, purl two. Round and round and round until your hat cowl is nine and a half inches, give or take. I used almost the entire ball of yarn. It was 200 yards, four ounces. Leave a little bit so that you can make a little cord to run through. Once your hat is nine and a half inches or as long as you like, you'll want to bind off with a stretchy bind off technique. I recommend Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off and I have a video on how to do that. I'll put the links below for you. To create the chain that goes through the holes to cinch it up, I just did a simple crochet chain. You need a crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in your ends and scissors of course and the same yarn that you were using. Other options, if you don't wanna use a crocheted chain like this, you could use ribbon. I thought that would be really pretty. Or strips of fabric, or you could use a different color yarn. Um, I even thought it would be pretty to put beads on the end so that they dangle. Thread your tails on both, both ends of your chain onto a darning needle, and just poke those back through. and cut off the excess. Of course, you also weave in your ends on your actual hat. Then you take your cord and weave it in and out, in and out of the holes. And then I have both coming out of the same hole. And that's gonna allow you to cinch it up and tie a bow however you would like to do Thank that. you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this cute little four-in-one hat cowl pattern. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the future excitement. If you would like to enter this month's huge yarn giveaway, you can head to blog.expressionfiberarts.com and get entered. Good luck on that. If you would like to get more free patterns, both knit and crochet, you can head to my site, expressionfiberarts.com. Comment below telling me what ideas you have for future videos so that I can make it happen. And have a great day. 
I will catch you next time.